fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to show you how I am going to change my AB storage. So what I decided to do was, and if you don't have any idea how I currently store my drills, basically my drills are in a box and then I have made my own dividers and stickers to store them in these, I think they're two and a half by three bags. And I originally had all of my ABs stored with my regular drills. So my 211 ABs round would have been with my 211 round drills. And that was working for me for a while. However, what I have discovered is that I have all of these ABs that don't get used because they're sitting in my box where I can't see them. And I've tried keeping a spreadsheet and matching up DMCs, but it basically comes down to the visual. I need a more visual way to store these because even if I get something that says 211, for example, if I use these ABs, they may not exactly match the die lot of whatever kit I happen to be working on. And sometimes a different color, these would match. And so I wanted a more visual way to store all of these. But I didn't want to spend a bunch of money and go out and buy yet another storage solution. So I went looking through what I already own and figured what could I use to do it. And so I went through my closet and I found this big box of basically pages. These are made for like playing cards and things. And I thought, well, I wonder if my bags will fit in them. And when I tried it, they did. Now there's quite a bit of extra rooms that don't quite fit as snugly as I wanted, but it does give me a visual way to do it. So I went through my two boxes of storage and again, if you haven't seen how I revamped my storage, I'll stick a link up there so you can go check out that video. So I went through my spreadsheet and my storage boxes and I pulled out all of my round and square drills. And then I also pulled out anything else that I had that were special drills. Because I had bought some things from DP with sparklers. For instance, I bought some copper ones when I was doing Jules and Vern and I have all of these left. These are round. Of course, I have a couple of diamond dots that are round. I also pulled out all of my squares. Now I may have missed some, I don't know how up to date my, my spreadsheet was, but I pulled out the ones as I came across them. If I pull out any more, I'll go back and pull them as well. So these are all of my rounds and this is what I have left for, for my project. So I have a very big binder. This is, I think like a three inch binder. It's just a three ring binder. My kids were using it for one of their college classes, so I just went down and snagged it because they're not, I think it was my daughter's and she's out of school now, so she doesn't need it. And so I decided I was just going to put my drills in the bags like this. So I've started, or in the pockets, so I've started doing this one. And then I, I wanted to keep my round and my squares separate, just like I was doing before. So I have already done all of my squares, because I had way less square ABs than I did round ones. Also doing it this way lets me see quickly at a glance, not only what I have, but also if there's anything else that I wanna order, I can look at and be like, no, I already have those, I don't need those. And I have some here that I bought from, I think I bought these from Shimmering Canvases that are like the square crystals. I wanna get those used up. I wanna get them all used up. That's where I was at. The other reason why I wanted to do this is because they just end up sitting in my spares. And the point of having them is to use them. So if they're just sitting in a box somewhere, then I'm not using them. That's also why I pulled out all of my old special drills and used all of those up. So here's my square ABs, spare ABs. And you can see there's not very many of them. I think there's like six pages in here. So they just all fit in this regular binder and this is where I'm gonna keep them. Now, is this how I'm gonna keep them forever? I don't know. But this is, I think, gonna work for me. Like I said, a more visual way. I'll put some kind of a square sticker or I'll make a fancy sticker to put on the front of this. So I know these are my square ABs and probably one on the spine because they'll probably get stored in my closet, my craft closet. And now I need to put these all together and put them in this binder for the round ones. Oh, and I told you guys I used all my special drills. Let me show you what I did. In my other video, I was showing you guys. Here's what the finished special drills look like. Someone suggested I should do a border, 
I think I did, I went too close to the edge to do a border necessarily. And I don't know, I'm still fighting with myself if I want to actually take the time to fill in with round drills. Because I don't know what color would look good. I don't know if black would look good. Black and white is probably the ones that I have the most of. So I think those would be the, the best looking. But I don't, frankly, just don't know if I want to take the time. I had a lot of fun just kind of using this. So I may just leave it like this. I'm still debating whether to go over it with like some mica powder just to to get rid of all the adhesive. I could seal it as well. But if I did the mica powder, then it would get, you wouldn't be able to see all of the guide or training wheels underneath here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I may just leave it like this. I don't know. But this is how it turned out. So I'm pretty happy with it, even if I don't do anything else with it. Like I said, I had fun putting it together. So it was fun. All right. So there's that. <laughs> and then I need to put all of these in my binder here. So I'm keeping them in DMC order just because I think that makes the most sense. Obviously, I do not have an AB in every color. I don't even know if I would want an AB in every single color. I mean, there's just some colors that you just don't use a lot of. And the reason that I have so many of the round ones is because for the most part, these are ABs that I bought when I was doing my Diana canvas. And so I wanted a bunch of different, well, I didn't, it's not that I wanted a bunch of different ABs. I was new to diamond painting or fairly new when I did Diana. And I think I've talked about before I made a mistake with my first order, I just bought drills that were on the legend. And so I ended up with a bunch like these kind of weird grays and tans that there weren't very many of on the canvas. And so I didn't need these huge giant bags of ABs. I've also pulled out, I have these glitter drills. So these are going to go in here as well. If I had any like jelly drills or glow in the darks or any other kind of special drills, I probably would have put them in here too. But for now, I'm just going to do the ABs. Anyway, I had a bunch for Diana that I ended up not using or just I had, you know, I bought a big bag and then I didn't use as many as I thought I was going to. Some of them like these, I only have a few because they're left over from other kits or whatever. So I try to save them. If I don't have very many, then sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll put them in a little Ziploc baggie, one of my old, because I moved to this larger size for spare drill storage. One of my old bags, I will put the ABs in that. And then see like this one, I bought this from, I think DP was Sparklers, but I didn't ever transfer it over to my AB storage. So I'm gonna do that with all of them now. Because what was happening was, even though these are super thin, I mean, they're just pl thin plastic bags, they still do take up some amount of space. And so by not transferring the bags over, I, in, I was ending up with, you know, taking up more room in my storage than I wanted to because I had two bags in there. Even if one of them was empty, it does still take up room. So I'm pulling all of those out. Whoops, lost track of what I was doing. That one needs to go there. And then I can throw this bag away or use it for something else. I don't need any of them though. I have so many of these that they can all just get put away. So hopefully, like I said, this will let me use up not only some items that I've just kind of had sitting around doing nothing on my shelf. These were literally just sitting in my closet. So I'm feeling good about this. I don't know, like I said, if this will be a long-term solution for me because I don't like the way, like I, my type A personality, I want my bags to fit exactly in here and they don't. They are just kind of what I'm making do with because these are the pocket sleeves that I had. But it does let me basically transfer the storage to a more visual way. It gets them out of my spare drill storage, which is something I wanted to do because my spare drill storage is getting kind of crazy. I have so many spare drills that I don't know what to do with them. And like I said, especially with ABs, they're so pretty. Why am I just letting them sit in my storage when I could be using them? But it's just so hard sometimes to 
with my spreadsheet and then I've got to pull out all of my boxes and go through each box and I have to flip through each spare drill storage. Honestly, I'm not even sure if the way I currently have my spare drill storage, even though I really like it, I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna stick with forever either. Once we move to Canada, what I'd really like to do is to, ooh, there's two wildly different colors in there, isn't there? That's interesting. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Is to get a more permanent, like apothecary drawers or something, like a piece, an actual piece of furniture to store them in rather than boxes that I pull in and out. But I don't know what our setup is gonna be because we don't know what our house is gonna be. So I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear. And for right now, like I said, I'm using up stuff that I have. Okay, so this is all of my round ABs, except for my two diamond dots and my copper sparkler. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some more of these bags so I can finish up putting all these in here and I'll be right back. And there's another sign. I pulled out the exact number of pages that I needed. That's weird. And then there were exactly three bags left that were just kind of hanging out. So I think that's gonna be serendipitous. Now I need to get stickers so that I can mark these because they are diamond dots. I don't know what color I would call that, but I'm at least gonna mark that it's a diamond dots because for me, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed it. I noticed it when I was doing my Spangler Fireflies. I used one of the diamond dots greens as ABs in that particular kit. And I usually go over everything once I'm done with a rolling pin, just to make sure that everything is flat and adhered, all the drills and everything are adhered to the canvas well, because I don't see almost of my diamond paintings. The diamond dots drills are just a teeny bit higher. Like when you run your hand over it, the diamond art club drills were slightly flatter than the diamond dots. And so it also made it kind of hard to run the roller over it because of course the, the rolling pin would hit the diamond dots first. I wanna label them so I know that they're diamond dots. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could also have done this same method with moving any crystals. Guys, the dog is out again. I tried the other day to get a picture. If I can get one, I'll put it in here. He's so stinking cute, but he's so annoying. Okay, anyway, I could have put my crystals in here as well, but I'm really not keeping most of my crystals anymore. So I don't need to worry about that. Well, you know what? I was gonna say, let me grab some stickers, but I don't really need to do that. I only have these. I know the copper ones are from Diamond Dots. I know they are from DP with Sparklers. I know the metal ones are from Diamond Dots. And then I'll just put this last one in here so I'll know it's Diamond Dots. Does it matter if it's not labeled? Not really. It's just me being type A about everything again. All right, so now here I have all of my, whoa. See, that's one of the things I was worried about. So we'll see if I can keep that from happening. Where did that one come from? Right there. This one slid out of the top. I don't know if I didn't have it down there all the way, pushed all the way down. So I may need to keep track of that, but at least it gets them in one place instead of kind of scattered all about. And it's a visual thing. So I can just kind of look through and say, oh, well, I've got this green does this green match it? Or I've got a blue or a yellow and I need something that I want to add an AB to. And then I can slowly use these all up because like I said, that's the issue for me is they're just sitting around not getting used and that drives me crazy. Like I spent money for these, for a lot of these, so I might as well use them, right? Plus then once I use these up, I have an excuse to go out and buy some more now that I can actually buy metallic ones or like the copper ones or the fairy dust ones or if I want to buy whatever else I want to come across. So this is how I'm going to do it for now. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent way for me to store all of these or if this is just going to be an interim thing until I get them all kind of used up, but at least it lets it be a little bit more visual and it was things that I had on hand so I didn't have to go out and buy any more storage. Like I said, I could have gone out and bought a whole bunch of little bottles and things and put them in a drawer type thing and done it that way. 
but I didn't want to spend any more money. And so this is my shopping in my own excess solution, <laughs> I guess. So now I have them and I still have them separated out into squares and rounds. And hopefully I will be able to sort out and use them more effectively this way. So let me know in the comments below, how do you guys store your ABs? Do you store them with your regular drills? Do you store them in a separate area? Do you even keep your spare drills? I know some people don't. That's an interesting question. Maybe I should ask that in a poll or on Facebook or something, how many people store their spare drills? I don't store everything. I don't keep all of my spare drills, but I keep a good portion of them. Someday I'll get around to actually using them on a project <laughs> besides just my special drills that I showed you earlier. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.